Now, when you criticize a government agency to their Congressional Oversight Committee, you're probably going to get a response. So here is rule six for radicals, which is when you get the microphone, make sure you make your point clearly and succinctly. Pretty soon, I got a call from the National Archives to discuss the Amazon situation. When I said this video was totally unavailable to the public, I had misspoke. Anybody could go to the National Archives in College Park, Maryland and watch any one of those 1800 DVDs on site. They'd also let you make a copy of a DVD, and they'd even furnish the blanks to make those copies, up to six copies per visit. And they had more than the 1800 DVDs in question, they had 3000 DVDs on site. I thought about this. I said, you mean if I went out there often enough I could copy all 3,000 of the DVDs and post them? Absolutely, you bet, go for it. Well, at 10 minutes per DVD, that's 30,000 minutes, 500 hours, more time than I could spend in College Park, but a perfect opportunity for crowdsourcing, and thus was born the International Amateur Scanning League. 